In this video, we're going to discuss the difference between a file's relative path versus a file's absolute path. So, in all the examples we saw previously, we didn't specify the full path of the file. We just gave the file a file name and it just showed up in our package explorer when we refreshed it. And that file is actually located in the relative path, meaning the current directory of your project. Wherever your the wherever the Java class is that you're running, that's where it's going to create the file. However, you can specify the full path of where you want that file to be located, and that is called the absolute path. And also when you're setting up the absolute path of where you want these files to be, you should use the forward slash character as the path separator. That's because it works on both Windows and Linux systems. And just in case you're running a program on both, you don't want to have any kind of issues by using the backslash character. Let's try this out. In this program called write file, we create a file output stream and a print writer object in order to be able to write files. We're writing a file called myfile.txt and we're sending the text hello world to it. So let's run the program and notice that since I didn't specify any kind of location of where this file is going to be, it just puts it in the same directory of where my Java package is. So if I do a refresh, there's myfile.txt. There's the words hello world inside it. Let's look at the properties to see where this file is located. And you can see it's located in this directory. But this is the relative path of where it was located. It's an official slash file name. So if I want to send this to my desk to the desktop instead, this is what I need to do. Create a string file name, and we'll call this C colon forward slash users slash james slash desktop slash my let's call this something different my new file dot text and let's also take this and replace this string file name with a string that represents the full path of where we want this file and we'll also change the output to, to desktop run the program and Actually, this is the wrong file name. This should also say my new file. On the program, my new file was written to the desktop. And if we refresh the Java package, it doesn't show up here. But if we go to the desktop, there is my new file.txt. Open it up, and there is hello world written to it. And I wrote it to it twice because. I ran the program twice and also because the second argument for the file output stream constructor is set to true which appends to the file. That's why I wrote hello world twice. So this is called the absolute path. 